Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Gaff Major and this is a let's play in the American Cruiser at the legendary tier, the Alaska. Um, although some may say that she's more like a battle cruiser, uh, which I would tend to agree with. Um, now, on the enemy team, there's a Udachi Udachi, a Wichita, an Alaska, an Odin, a Bismarck, a Jombar, an Alabama, and an Iowa. So obviously, it's a legendary tier 7 game. Uh, it's domination on. Um, Sleeping Giant. Um, I was spawned on the right with the only other legendary ship on our team and the Bismarck. Uh, the enemy do have the destroyer advantage, I guess you could say. So I've spawned on the right, and normally I'm used to seeing teams commit quite heavily to the right side, so that's why I'm pushing out to try and make sure that I've got decent crossfire opportunities um, I'm not racing to get inside the objective simply because I know that was going to be a very painful way to die uh, however I can start picking on the Alabama and we've also got an Iowa in range um, so with my commander build obviously I have the ability to know when people are targeting me so I can use my maneuverability at range to dodge or try and mitigate incoming damage now that is the Iowa firing on me. Just trying to make sure I've got an angle. There we go. And my banner looks like it's backing up. Now what I've done with my commander build and my ship modules is I have gone for um, range, rate of fire, um, a little bit of detectability, I guess you could say, and uh, rudder shift maneuverability. Um, obviously, it's all a little bit of a trade off here and there, but with what I've been able to do, been able to get the gun range out to 19.7 kilometers range, um, which kind of meshes with this kind of standoff gameplay that you seem to get at tier 7, or tier 7 and legendary, I should say. Um, the severe lack of destroyers at the moment seems to force teams to have to play at very standoff, unfortunately. And you can only see that the eye was uh, turning tail and running. And that's simply because he hasn't got any targets to shoot. Alabama is hiding behind an island. It, this is very much what it's like at the moment. There's possibly an Odin coming in. Now, I think the objective is actually completely within my radar range. Yes, it is. So that's one of the nice things about the um, Alaska. She does have uh, the same radar as the Baltimore. She's also got the same sonar, which I will now put on because I suspect he actually would use his torpedo reload booster to try and get rid of me. However, I've just eliminated their key source of spotting information on this flank. Now Alaska comes with 12-inch uh, guns, uh, very similar to the Odin, or the same, same, same shell diameter, I should say. Um, however, the Alaska does have a superior AP um, shell damage. Talking of Odin, there's one. Just gonna quickly crank up the uh, speed just because I am spotted by aircraft, although I'm only being targeted by one ship and it's not the Alabama, which surprises me. Oh, there's an iron indicator, so I can't get a shot off. So I might as well focus on the capture. Oh, and uh, just saved me. See if we can lead the Alabama enough. I think we've got just a little bit too much island in our way. 
just got to be cautious of that Iowa off to my port side. Uh, I'm sure the Iowa would love to catch a cruiser out port side on. Uh, thankfully, it looks like my uh, friendly battleships have uh, pushed up to save the day. <laughs> It's amazing what happens uh, once you kill the only Yudachi on the flank. I managed to burn the Odin out. Now I'm just seeing that Iowa has got a nice line of sight down, like a corridor straight down. So I don't want to race out. Um, but I, what I might do, I might switch to gun view. Let's just... Mm. Okay, so we have an idea where the enemy Udachi is. Because they don't have anything else with torpedoes. Nice, the jean has gone. Goes Yamato though. So I've got Alabama over there and Iowa over there, so I'll just keep backing it up, I think. Maybe swish out the rear turret every now and then. Just using the elevation just to see such a peak over. Just got to be cautious of the Bismarck. Looks like the Alabama's coming out to play. So obviously that does become the priority target. Get a bit of focus fire down on him. I don't want to race too far forward just in case I end up I don't want him being behind this island for me so just aiming above his second turret with the intention of getting a, a fire on his superstructure there we go Yudachi spotted ah, Bismarck doesn't quite have secondaries on right I'm pushing as hard as I can now Udachi is basically my job. However, Ira on my left is most most irritating. Kind of hoping that maybe I can just blitz it. He's fired. So I'm going to do sonar first. I'm going to do radar. Problem is with the reload on the. the ship is on fire. Right, with the Iowa closing in, I need to get a move. I need a motor along now. I'm even on the load AP. Common Iowa, stick your nose out. So there, I'm just aiming for the uh, for the nose. Managed to get myself six thousand damage. Put some speed on. Yep, 
again, I just want that nose of the Iowa. 7,000 damage from her AP overpens. That could have been a lot worse. Again, just aiming for his nose. Another 8,000 damage. Here comes the yes. Thank you. I've got absolutely no tricks in the bag. All I can do is hunt this Yudachi based on instinct. Nice. Well, that was a quite enjoyable game, actually, in the Alaska. Um, I've had some really stale games um, trying to record this, but actually that was an enjoyable game. Um, only 69,000 damage, though. Um, only 52 hits and cuts, so it's not, hasn't been very good score-wise, well, at least I don't think, we'll have a look at the table in a second, but that has actually been an enjoyable game in the Alaska. Um, it's been nice to actually have, like, the enemy kind of raise, raise to the challenge rather than it just being the long-distance slogging match that we've had for about the past hour or so. Uh, going to the teams, top of the team, I'll take that for that kind of game. Um, that was actually a really enjoyable game. That's what legendary games should be like um, rather than these really cagey boxing matches I guess you could say and made myself a tiny profit as well with that although that is with premium and an epic credit booster obviously the ship service costs 215,000 credits um, so um, without the epic credit booster I would have made a loss um, and the premium obviously does help so it does kind of show that when it comes to playing legendary tier ships um you're gonna have to you definitely need an epic credit booster if you're gonna play them um and hope that you do well uh having premium account uh does help um but even then i have to confess even i've made a loss um i've made uh, in one game i've actually made a loss of about 10,000 credits even with the epic credit booster and the premium so it, it's all swings and roundabouts I guess you can say when it comes to it it's all down to how well you can actually do um, although there wasn't a high damage game I guess I got a lot of um, score through doing other things like captures and spotting and um, spot, spot assist damage and things like that what do you want that's the Alaska, but, um, and that was a let's play in it where I basically explain what I'm doing as I go along. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. And if you are already a subscriber, I'd like to say thank you very much, guys, for your continued support and contribution to the channel. Um, if you want to know the commander build or the ship modules used during this game, they are going to be down in the description, along with our email address. Do you have any game captures that you'd like to submit to be spotlighted with commentary and review reports? Or would you like um, any of your gameplays to be critiqued, um, just like tactical overlays, where you could possibly improve or what you're doing well? Um, then there's always shipping for uh, sea trials, I should say. Well, I've been the Gav Major, and back to the port.